Welcome back, guys. Ah, oh, this is this is really exciting. We have a two-all going into the fifth game, and it's gonna be as easy. Brisbane have chosen their player, and it's OAC. I think it's how that's how you pronounce it. He's a GM right. Zerg, and and and, and it, I mean you can kind of do some 12 pull shenanigans or 13, 12 mech deeper, but it is a very long rush map. So I wouldn't be surprised if we suppose to see, see Hatch first and both players and see kind of a macro game maybe we're going to the link base stage maybe we'll even get to roaches uh, but i'm excited to see cvz let's see how to see how it uh, pans out heck yeah we've had a lot of zvz as it seems in uh in mm -hmm. team league so far so well i'm not like a very good zerg player i feel like i'm starting to get sort of uh sort of a feel for it yeah it, it's super weird uh, i think link uh, People have tried to circumvent this Ling Bane stage, but it's so difficult to take a third base. You almost have to go Ling Bane uh, on maps like this, where you can't actually turtle behind three bases. Or you go into two base Muno or two base Roach, which is not really that great, especially with Hydras being as good as they are. So I think it, 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 see that Ling Bane stage for, for <laughs> and CVZs to end in, within 10 minutes is very, very, very common. Well, I'll just hop right into the game here. It looks like we have a hatch first coming out for both players. So, yeah. going right into that macro game. There's a gas taken for OC, so he's doing... He's going to get to speed up a lot quicker than Gideon. Uh, I can imagine he is going to take a guy. He takes a gas now, but it, it's not that much of a difference, but he definitely is going to have speed earlier, so maybe... Uh, even Bailing's but early as well so maybe you can get something done in that brief window I think they're both just gonna go for a banding nest at some point and just see what they can do and ho I, I am hoping that, that nothing gets really done on either side and it just goes into that roach stage because uh, early games easy is hectic to cast but it's super cool to cast when it goes to the roach stage because that's become so more strategic with where, how you place your roaches if you're going to go for hydras lurkers have even started to come back into the meta which is really cool to see yeah. as well yeah it's true were there any uh lurker buffs do you remember like in the uh in the new blizzcon patch kind of thought no there was i don't something. think so oh no i think there was oh they were they, they move i think they move a lot quicker like a, a lot quicker and they burrow in half the time i think yeah there's that won't really there... affect there's a different, like, I think a separate building for Lurker Den now. Uh, oh, well. yeah, so, that's true. So you can get a Lurker Den while still getting the uh, the Hydra upgrades. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's not really for the ZBZ matchup, because it's to bring them maybe into, back into the Protoss uh, matchup, and also against Terran to make it more viable, because, I mean, it's really just not good against Terran at the, in its current stage, so maybe they'll bring it back in, in those matchups. That'll be really cool oh, to see. No. I really... Sorry, the survivor this thing is just uh, yeah. tickling me. <laughs> Keep running, little buddy. You can make it. <laughs> this over. Who's speed's gonna be? Oh, I think it's gonna die though, because the speed is gonna be done pretty soon. Oh no, it's gonna get away. Oh, oh, oh my God, this link. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come back with a story to tell. He's gonna get some great benefits. I think oh, that no. link is. <laughs> That's a pretty anticlimactic death, but he is just one laying after all. What can you do? Yeah. I, I, I was gonna say he scouted the third base, but it was actually the Overlord that scouted it. But that would have been really cool if it, that survivor thing scouted the third base. Okay, so, so Ose is gonna take a much quicker third base, it seems. And he's also got a, quite a lot of links across the map. Uh, and he's got some bandings morphing as well. So it's gonna be up to Keaton to defend, but the issue is third base is on the way for for OC it's about halfway done he does have will have an upgrade lead with the carapace upgrade on the way but it's still quite a far away oh these links let's see how this might get a nice kill here at least scouting it out oh maybe the overlord saw anyway oh, oh that's actually a really nice pickup because it weakens those bainings but if it gets in those bainings get into mineral lines that's be that becomes very difficult for for Keaton Oh, so far good holds. Um, uh, uh, even though he's, a lot of his drones took damage, he did push the banings away. He didn't lose that many drones. He's going to be able to take a third base of his own, and maybe now with the Carapace upgrade, which will be finished pretty soon, he can get some counter damage done on this third base. I like this kind of cheeky little move out from uh, OSC. 
OC? Go for OC. You know, it, it yeah. seems like it can be pretty aggressive. And definitely it can. Yeah, you don't really know how many banelings are coming in. But behind this, he has a third base. He's making queens. He's got plenty of wing bank coming up on the production tab now. I think he's going to defend fine. And he still has that. Ooh, I don't know. That's a good bane hit. Yeah, I think... I, I honestly think Eden should be rather buying a little bit more time for himself and just wait for that carapace upgrade. But, oh, no, okay, okay. That was... Super bad for us. He's just throwing away banings now, and now it becomes very difficult for him because of the carapace upgrade. And they're gonna these things are gonna trade so well against the roaches that are coming out. Like the roaches are really good against things, but not with that carapace upgrade. This might get very difficult for. Oh, let's see. I, I think he's gonna sack this base almost because there's so many things following this up. Yeah, I think I think he's starting to smell maybe a little bit of blood in the water after he. After he t takes all those bands uh, for a couple of links, there's nothing but okay, a few drones now, but nothing but links and roaches in the production tab for a little bit. I think he's going to set his sights on this fourth base or third base, maybe even not going yeah. right into the nav yet. Yeah, and that Carapus upgrade is done now, so these things are going to start trading really well against these roaches. So he, but he's going to try and go into the main and see what damage he can get there. He did get kill quite a few drones in the natural, but he's still behind in the work account, so he needs a bit more damage than this. I think he should have just stayed. At I mean, he's getting some drone damage now, but I think he should have just stayed and killed the third base. He's killing a pretty good number of drones in the main here. Wow. Oh yeah, that that's actually really bad. That's twelve drones go down. Another roach is gonna go down. There's actually nothing to defend these links and these drones again. Oh, these, that's what's so difficult about CUZ. You'd never not, not you never show when to make that roach transition because of exactly what has happened here. Yeah, these links are just so quick and they just get into mineral, mineral lands and they, if they, the roaches are even a tiny bit out of position it just starts destroying them. But it, he, he does have roach tech which is obviously better than the, this link stage but he is getting plus one and plus one is trades even better against these roaches. But let's see how uh, this goes. I think OC is just going to try and macro up maybe but he's so far behind in working out. I think it's probably better if he just Rays across the map and tries to end the game that way. That, but that was a successful attack from Gideon. I don't think there's any road warrant for. Yeah, no road warrant for Gideon. So I think. I just think he's just gonna try to get really aggressive with uh, Link Bane. Yeah, I think he. Pro that's probably the, the best uh, thing for him because of that Carapace upgrade that he got. I, I think if he gets plus one Lings against. Even against these Roaches with no upgrade, it's gonna destroy them but it, it, these bandings uh, could definitely keep these links away from these roaches uh, I, do, I, do, I think this is a rough position for OC I really do because of uh, it's just so difficult to defend on so many different places with just with us. and these links are so oh. well great oh oh okay that, that was bad <laughs> very nice connections for, uh, for OC there Definitely even things up uh, the army count quite a bit here. That's still a lot of links. And with oh, the, I really like the this one, one upgrade. Still gonna get pushed yeah. back. Yeah, I think that was so important that he got those those uh, links. I think it was game over for him. But there is a spy on the way, so it's gonna be Mutaling Bane, but in ZBZ, which is. not. I mean, not a lot of people do it, but it definitely can work, especially that he's got the upgrade lead. And there's no hydrogen at all on the way, so these mutants could also catch these roaches completely off guard. Yeah, mutas, uh, mutas definitely pretty scary. Uh, the worker counts are are quite even, but pretty yeah, dramatically different tech paths being chosen by these two players. I guess I I, I want to say that if C can just kind of hang on. For the next mm -hmm. little bit, get some spores. Oh, okay. He's oh, wait, these are spine crawlers. Okay. Hang back, get oh, some spores, and then march across with Hydra. But yeah, like you say, he doesn't have a Hydra den either. And, they, and there's a f only a few queens on the map. But I see he's got two in the main, and one bruised one in the in the, in, the, in his natural, and I don't think any one in the third. So these mineral lines are so exposed to mutas, and they get it pop any time now and they're just gonna fly and have almost free range and looks <laughs> like don't go into the main and reveal oh because they revealed themselves to this overlord so spores should go up as soon as you can make them yeah it doesn't really have any other 
any other choice as far as counters, I think. He's moving out with a lot of these roaches. I guess mutas do take a while to kill roaches. Yeah, I mean they do, but with the links, with the plus one upgrade, I think... I, and it, a lot of these bands have already been taken out, so it's gonna, not going to stop these links from surrounding, but... Let's see how this this fight goes. This genuinely could go either way. Oh, that was a decent bailing hit. So many roaches now. And these bailings are still going to tank a lot of damage. Nice focus fire on the bailings. Uh, oh, nice hit out there from Osi, but the meters were focusing down like a good amount of bands earlier. He's going to lose some drones here, but all these roaches are going to get cleaned up eventually. Yeah, I think he's going to lose a base. I think he's. And not that too many drones. I think he's okay. There's a lot of links following this up, but oh, uh, Keenan's links are much better upgraded. And uh, he's gonna clean this up. Wow. And I'm only surprised way in, in in Keenan's favor, but these meters uh, don't do a lot of damage to mineral lines. But oh, there's there's no spores. Okay, scratch that. They're gonna do so much damage to mineral lines. <laughs> oh my god, this is super bad, actually. There is Hydra's on the way, but there's so many muters. I don't think he has much of an answer. He's going to try and counterattack with all these links, but as I said, these links are so much better upgraded for Geedon. They're going to trade so much better. I, I think Geedon should just go for the kill, go for a mineral line. Spores are now up. But if he had attacked and gone for just one mineral line, it just that effectively ends the game. There are a few Hydra's out now. Yeah, one so these Oh, there's the Hydra's, yeah. Oh, but they were so they these uh, mineral lines were so exposed for so so long, and that was that was actually a real shame. But these minas do have plus one, and they can actually trade against much better against hydras than they normally would. But the main issue is the fact that the, with the high the buff in health, they do do a lot of damage to these minas. So he does have to be very careful. But this mineral link bane style is the perfect answer to uh, this uh, heavy hydra style because the banings just roll in and destroy everything. Yeah, I'm sure that fan link got in uh we see fan. Ooh. Not sure that's a fight you necessarily want to take with that many hydras. I guess he opted to just clean up a lot of overlords around the map and I mean it is true, it didn't supply Bakum, but that is a lot of overlords he's gonna have to remake. Which mm -hmm. is uh, gonna kinda gum up the works here. Um just more mutas, more mutas and flyer attacks coming out from Eden, so he's gonna double down on this. Yeah, I really like that. I, I really do think Mule Link Bane is really strong against this this Hydra style. And if he I think he he should probably stop making mutas at some point and just focus on getting some Banes out, but oh any ro uh, hydras that he picks up is really nice. And this muta count is actually super high now. That it can start really doing a lot of damage if these hydras are out of position. Oh and these oh there's even more uh, workers in the third base. More drones gonna go down. OC's are really so far behind in the in the world count. Uh, oh, GG wow. is called. Just winning that fight straight up against the Hydras. Wow really crazy. Uh, really impressive game. Well that's two that's two in a row for Geedon here, bringing uh, Nocturnal up in this set and one map away from taking this week. Yeah. That was a really really cool different kind of way approach to ZBZ. Most people just go from the Ling Bane stage into Roaches, but he went full on the Ling Bane stage and he got enough damage done. And then he went into Mutas and that just threw OSU oh, straight off guard because he had no Hydrogen in sight and he had to try to get across the map with Roaches and just got wrecked. And from that moment, yeah. Geedon just controlled the game. Yeah, really, really well played by Geedon. Yeah, I think I, I I was pretty worried from earlier, but yeah, there's there's a couple of the bane link connects in between the net and uh, and the third for uh, OAC really really bought him a lot of time, but yeah, in the end, I just don't think he saw that muta transition coming uh, at all. I think the nearest overlord that he had was kind of like somewhere somewhere kind of like a bit to the right of of uh, Geen's main, and it did see the mutas come out, but I mean at that point, you know, can what, what can you do? If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.